hello welcome to jquery tutorial chapter 16 jquery dom brought to you by anchor technologies my name is harish in this session we are going to learn about what is dom so before starting with this session like uh, let me tell you few things so um, we are going to discuss like in this session like how jquery can help you in modifying your html document and keep in mind we can use jquery to insert new elements move them copy them etc and this is a very powerful technique which is used throughout the web okay before we proceed uh, with this session we need to understand like how our browser passes the html document and how it stores internally and for that okay we should be aware of something called dom so what dom stands for it stands for document object model keep in mind when a web page is loaded the browser what it does is it creates a document object model of that page and the HTML DOM model is constructed as a tree of objects so um, let us examine a very simple HTML page to understand what DOM is so uh, here comes the slide within a browser the document is represented by a tree so what do you mean by that it's very simple I'm having a piece of HTML here let me explain this within the HTML I'm having a head tag and a body tag within the body tag I'm having an article section and within the article section I'm having three elements that is two paragraphs and one unordered list and unordered list it consists of three list items now when I push this page to the browser browser internally how what it does is okay internally it represents okay your HTML page in the form of tree okay I call it as DOM tree that is document object model tree when I push this page to the browser your browser internally it represents this page as a DOM tree and it looks like this so this HTML is the root okay and keep in mind any node it can have n number of child nodes but the but the node can have only one parent node so let me explain this uh, what is this tree DOM tree okay uh, here is the HTML it's a root and it's having two childs one is head and body and body is having one child that is article and article is having three three child that is th two paragraphs and one unordered list and unordered list is having three children's three list items so um, this gives you this gives the this tree it gives you a clear-cut representation okay of how your page looks okay and this is how your browser it's going to store internally in the form of DOM tree okay and this is this looks very easy okay it gives you a clear-cut picture like how your HTML page looks and if you want to um, do something if you want to interact with your HTML page and uh, with this diagram you can easily understand um, how to interact the elements very easily or how to, how to move the elements very easily okay and now uh, let's look at individual node okay let, to understand this very clearly like what is this DOM tree uh, and what is the advantage of using it so now let's look at individual node say let me go with this UL so we can ex with the help of this UL uh, node we can access its parent element that is article is the parent of this UL okay similarly with the help of this UL I can access its uh, grand pa grandparent that is body and similarly with the help of this UL L node I can access the great grandparent that is this HTML root so apart from that we can also access uh, this unordered list siblings that is these two paragraphs and also keep in mind we can also access this unordered list children okay this is what the uh, powerfulness of DOM okay and now uh, okay um, I explained to you like what is DOM tree so keep in mind DOM tree it's a very flexible model and it's very easy to add new branches or even break out of the branch and place elsewhere okay in the sense with the help of DOM you can interact or you can manipulate the things very easily okay it gives you a clear-cut representation of your HTML looks and you can play with that DOM tree very easily so that is the advantage of using a DOM okay so uh, let me make you understand what a node is so to understand a node clearly let us look in the next slide okay uh, we have an anchor link here and we have a couple of attributes to assign to it uh, the attributes are href and ID so keep in mind we can access this href and ID okay directly from the node itself 
okay but keep in mind this anchor anchor tag it's also having some text in it so this text my link text so but it is not possible to access the text from this anchor tag node itself why because that text is stored as a child text node okay i repeat this text whatever is present here right it is stored as separately a child text node we can't access directly with this anchor node so what we have to do is we have to first look at the first child node find out whether the text is present there and access that directly instead of going to this anchor node we have to access that text directly okay uh, because that text is stored as the child text node so this is what about the node is so what we understood fr from this session is like what is DOM uh, what happens when your web page loads and what your browser does when your web page is loaded it creates a document object model of the web page and the HTML DOM model it is constructed as a tree of objects you can observe here okay it's a tree of objects and once you have that object model document object model and with the help of jQuery jQuery will get all the power uh, to create a dynamic HTML once the jQuery is ready is getting this DOM model okay object model uh, it's very easy for the jQuery uh, to create a dynamic HTML so what and all it can do is it can uh, change all the HTML elements in the web page uh, it can change the attributes in the web page and it, it can play with the CSS styles of your web page and it can remove uh, existing HTML or it can add a new HTML element it can react to all existing HTML events or it can add a new event in your HTML page this is the advantage of using your DOM okay and sorry uh, okay I, I told you like it this is the uh, what DOM is and once you get that object model what and all you can do with the jQuery is these things okay I hope you understood like what is DOM okay and thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel Ankpro training you can also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter for further reference refer websites we are on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day